Oh, what up, y'all? Easy boy. Night 27, 27. Playing a little team deathmatch. Uh, we're going to be playing a little Black Ops 2 on Nintendo Wii U. Be straight up recording, playing for you. Alright, double check. Yep, that's me, Night 27, 27. Alright. So. Yeah, boy, night twenty-seven, twenty-seven, straight up dominated. And I'll show you what I did in this matchup. Um, pretty much, when I say that I'm the best record team deathmatch, as a sole player, a guy who does not have like some team immediately, they like, oh, MLG or whoever these people are. These are like a dedicated team who have to play together. I'm a guy who literally just will jump on and work with whoever. Which gives me a, a better skill set, if anything, more versatility, because I can work with anybody. You know, in comparison to these MLG players, they most likely just play with that particular group, and, you know, they're just using those people that they already know. In comparison to me, I have to focus on whatever's going on at any given time, react to anything. If I got a bad team, I got to adjust. You know, what's going on with this team? Why are they doing bad? I got to figure out any solution to anything and react to anything that's happening and create a solution on the fly. Unlike these other players. Now, when I say I'm the best, a lot of people always get mad. Especially when I say I'm the best for core team deathmatch. Because everybody plays core team deathmatch, but yet they don't play as a team base. So their argument is pretty, uh, you know, invalid because they don't have any real reason as to why they say I'm not the best. They just say, oh, you're not the best because you say you're the best, or I'm the best. No, you're not. You're not the best. You're not doing what I'm doing. I'm topping these lobby leaderboards, and I'm doing it with pure skill without using one-hit kills, because one-hit kills are for the players who have less skill. The average player is the most likely a guy who uses one-hit kills. So if these MLG players or all these other players, or whoever these high-caliber teams are, they're the players who are a team of one-hit kills, basically, because they suck. See that? I knew that guy was in the spawn, so I covered that half to make sure I could wound him, and then that other guy picked up the kill. Still reacted to that and took him out. A one hit kill guy, you're literally just quick scope shotgun, quick scope shotgun, you don't have the skills of running gunner. I have to dodge all these attacks, all these grenades, these C4s, and I have to stay accurate for a consistent amount of seconds. Yes, target assist does work a little bit for um, any gun, assault rifle, any fully automatic gun. You know, but you still have to be a consistently accurate. You still have to be a certain percentage accurate because you're only going to miss a little bit that will be curved over. If you're using a one-hit kill, it's just that one bullet that's going to be curved over. Just that one shot from the shotgun is going to be curved over, and you're still going to get that one-hit kill regardless of what you missed. Unlike a, a you know rapid succession of bullets, if I miss most of the bullets and some of the bullets are curved, I'm not going to get the kill. I have to score most of the shots. So if you run at me with a shotgun and I shoot you four times before you could even react in the head the most lethal spot, I'm the better player. Because you're running at me with a one hit kill, but yet I can outshoot you before you could even react. You see what I'm saying? If you if you have a one hit kill gun and I shoot you in the most lethal spot, I'm not getting the kill because of how the gun is programmed. And that gun is programmed to protect the less skilled players. So if you have a shotgun and you're shooting me with just one shot and you're killing me, but I shot you four times in the head, that means I reacted better than you, I lined up my shots, and I shot you more accurately than you shot me. Before you could even pull the trigger to defend yourself, but because of the game works, how the game works, you will be given that kill regardless of the fact that I destroyed you. That's the most lethal spot. If I shoot you four times in the head in real life with an automatic gun, and then tell you to pull the trigger in a shotgun, I'm going to want the exchange. And in some, you know, some scenarios, you might be able to pull the trigger, and we both could die, but the game doesn't work like that. And the fact that it doesn't makes me the better player. Hands down. Because it's literally designed to protect certain players. Now, me, I'm running and gunning. They, they always say, why don't you get this? I'm 25 and 5 right now. They say, why don't you get these, uh, you know, warthogs, all this stuff, a nuclear? I don't care. All I'm trying to do is, usually when I'm on the mic... This is where I'm the tactical assassin. I'm on the mic. I'm already driving and saying I'm the best. And I am literally taking the attention of the entire lobby. I'm the most popular. Everybody's after me, 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 me. They're trying to shut me up. They're trying to outperform me. They're trying to kill me the most. They're trying to be above me on the leaderboard, whatever. And 
that takes off the attention of everybody else. Now you see they got a UAV, I'm the guy taking it down. I manage every aspect. I give you a UAV, a counter UAV, and a 100 kilo drone. Jamming their radar, giving us eyes, throwing a 100 kilo drone for a little surprise. What that does is focus on the team and the team alone. I can get sentry guns, I can get all these other things, but everything I have is focused with the team. I jam their radar. They don't got a radar. And then I immediately put up a UAV after. So that means we have a radar and we can see them, but they can't see us. That's the tactical advantage. On top of that, a 100 kilo drone has multiple purposes. You know, it's randomized chance that I'll get a kill. So, I mean, you can counter it with a flat jacket. There's a lot of ways to get around it. But, um, so they're getting a care package. I'm trying my best to make sure they're not getting it. Or at least, you know, just fend them off for a little bit longer. But, um, you know, 100 kilo drone can take out a stealth chopper. You can take out a UAV if I don't have the time to do so. Or counter UAV if I don't have the time. So it literally has multiple purposes all dedicated for the team. Now, I'm, you know, maybe a running gunner, but I want everybody to focus on me so I make it easier for everybody else. You know, if everybody's focusing on me and they're all after Knight because Knight's running his mouth on a mic, that means there's less players who are focused on my team, which gives my team an easier experience just by me being on their team. See what I'm saying? That makes me already better in some aspects. And the fact that I'm rarely ever outshot, I'm a running gunner who is always successful. I mean, wherever the action is, I'm sprinting out there. I'm trying to be the guy in, there, in the action. Take him out. Boom. Sentry gun out before it could even get a kill. I always say I take things out within seconds before they can even benefit from it. And that's the truth. That UAV was gone. You know, I try to take out everything as quick as possible. Just using tactical intelligence, you know, outsmarting people, just destroying them. Just consistently scoring over and over. You know, somebody may get more kills than me one time in their height, but it's, that's not really what it is about. It's not always about kills. Everything that I'm doing, you know, covering people, I'm taking out the most important people. Oh, this guy's sniping up top and he's getting a ton of kills. I'm taking all of these people out. See, look at that. That's a guy up there camping. I'm making sure that my team can be successful because he's up there scoring. I don't want that. And then I took him out. There was a little bit of lag and my bullet, my gun stopped shooting. But I still managed to um, react and still capitalize on the situation. So... When it comes to core team deathmatch, there's a reason why I say I'm the best, because everything that I do is focused on the team. Team, 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 team. You know, everybody wants to be a lone wolf, but if you know a wolf, a wolf will take care of their family. So I separate from everybody else, because when you all target the same person, one person's going to be without a kill, and then eventually when he dies, he's going negative because you took his kill. Sure, he gets the points for assists, but if you both spread out, you both will be able to get a kill individually and score better for the team. People don't do that. I separate from the team, so you can't say I took your kill. I'll go take on the entire spawn by myself or something. Or I'll take on all four of them by myself, pick up the fury kill, and provide you guys with UAVs. But if you took my kill, I can't do that. And everybody else has higher score streaks because they're more so focused about the killing aspect. They want their sentry guns. And then if they're unsuccessful and they die a lot, they're not giving you anything. Sure, I don't get the, the nuclears and all that because I'm not focused on that. I'm focused on making the most action-packed experience. If I'm the guy talking all the trash and saying I'm the best, you better see me, right? So I want you to see me so I'm consistently in your face taking you out. That way, when I'm talking to trash, we're getting in the lobby. Oh, yeah, I thought you were better than me. You're not better than me because I'm still at the top of the list. I'm still destroying you people. Even from that, all the mental game to get inside people's heads and I'm still dominating. Still up top, still giving my team the easiest possible experience. The UAVs, counter UAV, 100 kilo drone, all be beneficial to the team. A lot of people don't think about that or think in that aspect. And if I'm pulling, you know, the numbers that I did, 40 and 10, yeah, sure, I got 40 kills and 10 deaths. I did die 10 times. Oh, you died 10 times, you suck. Because I wasn't camping. I was literally just running into all the action. Out of 50 exchanges, out of 50 exchanges, I walk out with 40 kills and only die 10 times. Now look at my team. Now let's let's look in the real detail right here. Under me, 11 and 18. That's negative. 6 and 2. That's positive. 4 and 4. That's even. 6 and 13. Negative. 5 and 16. Negative. Look how close it is. 68 to 75. We barely won. And it was close for a majority of that match. If I did not pull out that many kills, we would have lost. 
you know, sure that guy went 13 and 12 because it's most likely my doing. We got a guy going positive 12 and 8, 9 and 6 positive. That's two positive right there. 11 and 20, geez. 10 and 15, and then 7 and 3. That's three people on their team that went positive to R2. So they were pretty, pretty decent, and they didn't go that negative. You know, a couple of them did bad, but what it is is that that's my doing because I'm out there destroying them. My team didn't really get that many kills. So if I did not play to that level, we would have lost. And look at that, over 4,000 points. Why? Because of my UAVs? Yeah, sure, I'm getting points for that, but also I'm taking out their things. Oh, they got a UAV? Gone. Oh, you know, me running around, I'm preventing these players from getting high score streaks. If I camp somewhere, that doesn't make me a better player. If I use one-hit kills, that doesn't make me a better player. That makes me worse. That makes you average. If you're a heavy user of a one-hit kill, shotgun, sniper rifle, C4, you're average. A runner gunner is the most skilled player. Because regardless, I have to react to everything. Running and gunning, boom, C4, got to dodge a grenade, boom. I'm shooting at this guy in front of me, but the guy behind me is shooting at me. So I have to successfully get my target moving in a way where I would make that other guy miss. Long enough for him to start to reload, then I can turn around and use the last bullets in my clip to pop off a headshot to be able to kill him. That's pure skill. That's running and gunning. Compared to me waiting in a corner with a one-shot kill, so regardless of whether he ran up there and shot me in the head as I'm sitting there in the corner, I pulled that trigger once. Regardless of whatever he did, his efforts don't match because that one-hit kill overrides everything. So the fact that I should have died because I got shot four times in the head with an automatic gun, but as soon as I pull that one-hit kill trigger and get that kill, I win the exchange. That's not a better player. Me running and gunning, me taking the attention of the entire lobby, me taking out anything that they do that would be negative towards our team, taking out the important guys like that guy camping up top, taking out that UAV, taking out that sentry gun, doing every aspect of the entire match, the entire, match, the entire game mode. That's what Team Deathmatch is. You know, and, and straight up. If I did not perform to this level, if I not, did not pull out 40 kills, I would have lost. My team would have lost. This makes me the best for core team deathmatch, you know. Even if I'm working with pure trash players, I'm still the reason why we're winning. You know, I don't have this super team. I work with whoever. Give me anybody at random. That shows pure skill, you know. How successful would these top players be, who you say are the best at team deathmatch, be without their legendary team? You know, these MLG players, you put them, one of them, in a lobby with a bunch of randoms, will they still be winning? Will they still be taking over every aspect and still providing in a way that will give everybody the kill? Are they not using one-hit kills? Do they refuse to use one-hit kills like me and still focus on every aspect of the team to make sure that they win? That's the things that I do, and that's the things that make me different from the rest. When I say I'm the best, there's a reason behind it. I don't just talk trash, just talk it. Night 2727 is the best at core team deathmatch. You guys can have any other game mode you want. When Black Ops 3 comes out, I'm going to be on Xbox One. I doubt there's going to be a Wii U version. So I'll be over there dominating. And, you know, when it comes to a uh, lobby leaderboard, I'm usually up top. At least, like, for 80% of the lobbies. And whoever is usually in there who has a higher points than me, they're ranked higher, 300. I'm, like, 1,700 right now, something in the world. On Wii U, so anybody who's like 300, I'm still outperforming, I'm still beating them, still winning every match, you know. And they're coming in there with higher scores than me, you know, higher score per minute, but they're not beating me. Their team is not winning. 